Hey guys, so today I have a lip swatches video for you. I've been wanting to do this one for a really long time because it's for the Lancome Rouge and Love lipsticks. Um, and these are amazing. They're so good. I swear by them. The only problem is they're quite expensive. They retail for $54 in New Zealand, um, which yes, is quite a lot. It's more expensive than a MAC lipstick. Um, but they are very, very good quality. I can go, if I wear one of these, I can go sort of a whole day with wearing it. I mean, I do have to apply it again after I've eaten because most lipsticks, majority of lipsticks, you do have to do that anyway. Um, so, yeah, the only time I ever need to reapply these is if I have eaten. Oh, the colours are amazing. Like, you'll see all the colours are really beautiful. There's not one colour in the collection that I have, in the actual collection itself, that I don't like. So, yeah, I really, really love these lipsticks. Um, the packaging is really cute as well. It looks like a little, like, kind of bullet. Um, but this is what the actual packaging looks like. I've got two in the actual packaging. Um, so, yeah, and then you open them. They make the, like, a click shut. Um, so they're actually really hard to open. So they don't open in your bag, which is really good. They're really, really cute as well. On the lipstick itself, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, the sun's just decided to come out from the class. It's got the Lancome Rose embossed on the lipstick as well, which is super cute. That comes on the regular ones. But I also have some of like ones like these as well which I will be swatching just because I got I got to use these ones I got to have these ones when I was working for the counter like when we ordered new ones in we got to take away the old ones so yeah I'm gonna stop babbling and I'll let you guys see for yourself what these lipsticks are like um and you'll see that in the swatches so if you want to see the Lancome Rouge and Love lipstick swatch then just keep watching so I just applied this one here this is number 322M it's a matte shade um, and it's a nice sort of coral pink colour. I don't know about on my skin tone personally, but it is a very, very pretty colour. It's great for spring. The next one I have is 345B. Um, so this is a bold one. I don't know how bold this is going to be. So this is it here. It's a very sort of, um, it's coming off a little bit darker on the camera, but it's quite a light pink. So I don't know how this is going to go as being a bold. This one's a lot thicker, like you can feel it. Oh, I love this. I can definitely see how it's a bold colour. It's quite neon. Um, this is something I would absolutely love to rock in summer. So I'm definitely going to keep this colour in mind for summer. It's so pretty. It's just one of those like really, like reminds me of like a Malibu pink sort of colour. It's so pretty. This is number 343B, so again, another bold colour. This is going a little bit more um, into pink as opposed to sort of your peachy coral sort of colour. So this one's definitely going into the more pink margin. This is like a Barbie pink, like this is legit like a Barbie like an actual Barbie pink. So this one is, yeah, number 343B. This reminds me of Barbie, this colour. It's super pretty. Um, not something that I would personally rock all the time, but it just looks, it looks super pretty. And it's really, really pigmented as well. They feel so smoothing on the lips as well. They don't feel drying or anything like that, which is what I love about the Lancome lipsticks, is they're not drying at all. But, yeah. That is such a pretty colour. Again, this is something I probably wear more towards summer. Kind of reminds me of Saint Germain from MAC. Next I have 361M and this colour is amazing. I love this one. It's probably one of my favourites. Um, just because it's so bright and bold. But this is like neon pink. Like, look at that. It's pretty friggin' neon. How amazing is that? Like, it's just, I can't get over it. It's so pretty. It's just like a neon bright, bright pink. If you're in the search for like a really, really bright, long-lasting pink, this one here is amazing. So the next one I have is a little bit different. This is number 383N, um, and it's more of a sort of rose, kind of like a deep, deeper rose sort of colour. So let's try that one.
this is really nice I really like this one this is super pretty I don't actually think I've worn this one before but that is super pretty that would be a really nice fall color or autumn color it's gorgeous the next one is number 375N and this is going back into the pinks again this is a slightly darker pink though like a little bit more fuchsia I think yeah definitely a little bit more fuchsia I hate my cupid's bow. I have the weirdest shaped cupid's bow. So whenever I do put my lips, it kind of looks really weird. Yeah, that's more like a hot pink. That's super pretty as well. This next one here is number 379N. Now, I think I've used this before in a video. This was like my holy grail for ages. This and the next one were like my holy grail colors for ages. Like just my go-to colors. But this is like a nice sort of purple color. So great for you guys in the fall or autumn at the moment. So pretty. How gorgeous is that? I just, I loved it over winter. It was my go-to colour and it is still... Like it still seems amazing to me. I love this colour. I definitely recommend it. Especially for those of you going into winter and fall. Um, it would be an absolutely amazing colour. It's just like a really good go-to colour. And it goes with pretty much every makeup look. When I used to work for Lancome, I used to wear it like every day. Like no matter what look I was wearing. It would really go with everything. Especially like if I'm wearing makeup like this. If I'm wearing a little bit more dark makeup. Or like no eye makeup at all. It just looks perfect so yeah I love this one and then this next one here is another favorite of mine this is number 275M um, and this is like a brown like it's quite dark and intense but I love it it's gorgeous so let's see that one so that's that one um, that one is really nice I mean Looking at it now, it doesn't look as dark as it used to look in, like, when I was in the store or anything like that. So it's actually not too dark, but it's nice because it's like a brown, but it's also like a purple. It's a really nice colour and it's re really wearable for everybody as well if you're wanting, like, a darker colour. Um, now that I'm looking at it now, it's not that dark compared to what I wear now for dark lipstick. Um, it's actually not that dark, but it's still a really nice colour and it goes, match, kind of matches my hair a little bit. Um, but yeah, I do still really like this colour. Alright, so now we're getting into like the reds, which are really nice. These reds are really pretty and striking, so I'm excited to show you these. This first one is number 159B. It's more on the orange side of a um, red. That application was really shabby, but... That's the colour there. It's more of the on the orange side and it's also slightly translucent as well. Like I feel like you can see through to my actual lips. Um, so it's not like a fully, fully pigmented one. But the colour still is there. Like first swipe colour still is definitely there. Um, but yeah, it's just not sort of that full coverage lip colour like the other ones are. But it's still really nice. So the next one I've got is number 146B. And again, this is like an orange toned Red, a little bit more orange. I think it's kind of like more orange from MAC, um, this colour, so, yeah. That is beautiful. It's not actually like a red at all. It's like a uh, legit orange. So, yeah, I love this. This is gorgeous I'll definitely wear this in the summer I like to wear oranges in the summer just to brighten up my face a little bit so I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of this during the summer but oh my god it's so pretty so the next one I've got is number 163M um, and this is just like getting into a real red color uh, so let's try this one it's a, still a slightly muted red Excuse the really bad application. This is a really pretty red. I feel like it would look super nice on anybody if you're wanting like a subtle red. 
or on somebody who's got a little bit more paler skin than mine. I'm quite an olive skin tone, so yeah, I've got quite yellow sort of undertones on my skin, but I would definitely reckon this would be perfect for somebody who has quite pale skin or pink undertones on their skin, just because it's not so sort of blood red. It's got that sort of muted down pinky red look to it, so I think it would go really nice with, yeah, a fair tone, a fair skin person or somebody with like a pink undertone. And then the last one I have is this one here, and this is one of my favourite, all-time favourite reds, and it's number 183N. This is that really nice blue-toned blood red. It's so, so gorgeous. So let's try this on. Yes. I'm in love with this colour. This is like my most, pretty much like my most favourite red ever. It's so, so pretty. Oh, I've got clan lips on. Oh my god. But this is just the most gorgeous red ever. It's so pretty. And that's number 183N. If you're in the hunt for a red that stays on your lips really well, it's going to last super long. Um, and is that really nice true red colour. This one. This is like just amazing. It's such an amazing red. I've actually got two of these so yeah I won't be running out anytime soon but it's like that Christmas red, that really nice winter red like it's beautiful and goes well with absolutely everybody so yeah definitely check this one out. It's my absolute favourite red ever. So yeah. So that was all the lipsticks from the Lancome Rouge and Love collection that I had to show you. I haven't got all of them but I've got most of them. I know a lot of them were pinks um, but yeah, that is what the collection is mostly. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of pinks. Like most of Lancome's lipsticks are a lot of pinks. I don't know why, they just are. But yeah, I give these lipsticks like a 9 out of 10. They are amazing. The only reason I give them a 9 out of 10 is because they are expensive. And I know not everyone is going to be willing to pay sort of $54 for a lipstick. Um, New Zealand price anyway. I know in, um, the US they'll probably be a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you them because they are absolutely amazing and I've never had a problem with these. And they last so long on your lips as well. So yeah, that was another thing that I really, really loved about them. So yeah, that was all the swatches I had to show you guys. If you have any questions about anything I've shown or just want to ask me any questions or leave me a comment, just leave me a comment down below. Um, check out all my social media. All the links are in the down bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, request, subscribe and like. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.